professional mode tonight, girls and gents. <laughs> Hi, I'm back from Beckspin. We're going to go over the last of the 55 starts for Halloween. So I have 22 through 55 to show you in this video. And if we have time, I'd like to show you a little bit of haul and uh, go over a couple things. First thing is thank you everybody for all the birthday wishes. I had a great time. Um, the whole reason I set up the 55 starts was because there's Halloween, which is my favorite. And then there's my anniversary, which is my second favorite. And then my birthday. And it's all on the 31st and the 1st. Um, and that this time of year is like my favorite. My most favorite time of year is October to, I don't know, November, the first week of November. When I finally stop celebrating my birthday. It's on the 1st, but I celebrate it for like a week. <laughs> Um, I'm going to show you all of the whips. Um, there'll be a couple mentions. I'll talk about Stephanie and Allison from Cross Stitch the Globe. I mention them often and it's because I'm always, I watch them religiously and then they do a lot. Um, they do a lot of different videos. They do tutorial videos. They do, uh, floss tubes. They do, um, they do it all. They do all kinds of stuff on their videos. And so recently they did um, a video where they showed a whole bunch of freebies, like almost 50 of them, I think. Um, and they, they take such painstaking time to put it all in the description and put all the links in there. So if there are any freebies that you're looking to get for Halloween, to get some for next year, go and see through their uh, Cross Stitch the Globe and see if you can snag any of them before they, I don't know if they get taken down. I don't know what happens with them, but theirs is the easiest to go through because they're all just listed in a line and you can go through and save them. I did a whole bunch of them, so that's why I mentioned them. And then I also mentioned them because they had a video on this amazing book right here. Uh, it's Lindsay Swearingen and they did a flip through the whole book and as soon as they started talking about this book I didn't even watch the flip through like I was watching I don't know which floss it might have been one of their floss tubes or I don't know what their video was for I can't remember but I remember them showing this and they were talking about how they were gonna do a flip uh, a flip through and show you different things and I didn't even wait for that I paused it went right to Amazon bought it and then um, did my own flip through when I got it and so I'm doing a pattern out of here there's only I think I only started one if I remember correctly I'm doing one in my in my uh, 55 and then I have the cross stitch Halloween magazine which I did a few out of here so I'll show you those so if you're interested in finishing up the Halloween spirit with me I know it's uh, November 4th and you'll be seeing this November 5th uh, 2024 but it's the last hurrah before everybody gets out that old green white and red and blue and more green and red <laughs> all right um, I'm just going to start. So I start with number 22. I got these all nice and unzipped for you. Um, I know it's noisy behind me as far as, you know, the view. Sorry. I actually recorded this earlier and, um, it started, the light started fading really quickly. And then my hair had this like bubble thing right here where it's starting to do it again. And I kind of looked like kind of look like Trump with that swoopy whatever thing that he's get he has going on this yeah it was very uh distracting so I was trying to edit the video and I was like this is if it's bothering me while I'm trying to edit it we're just going to do this over again so yeah I spent like an hour recording it and now I'm doing it all over again but anyway I hope you guys had a lovely Halloween if you celebrate and hand out candy and all that. We did. My husband and I were the only ones home. Um, my daughter 
my youngest, the 19 year old, decided to uh, last minute be a volunteer at a haunted house. And so she dressed up and you know, they sprayed her with makeup and all that. And she was one of the characters in the haunted house in Montgomery, Illinois. And then my other daughter was working at her jewelry store job in the mall. So it was just my hubby and I on our anniversary, handing out candy between four and seven. That was it. All right, here we go. Autumn by Tiny Modernist. Now I just need to make sure that you guys can see it and the lighting's okay. This is, let me get closer. This is 41 by 77 and it was done in 2013, but it was a 2024 freebie. And I'm doing it on a 32 count linen. It's natural, it's two over two. I cannot tell you some of my fabrics I pulled from my you know stash I've had for a while and um, when I first started collecting. And so they're random pieces that I just, they, I've never had the information on them. Um, but that is the, the start that I have. A little pumpkin. And then um, on the same piece of fabric, number 23 is uh, Samhain, the primitive, from the Primitive Hair 2014. And... Uh, it was also a 2024 freebie. It's 51 by 62, and it's the same um, fabric here. And that's how much I got on that guy. I did not print the whole thing. I just printed the chart, but it kind of looks like that. And it's just like a little pumpkin head, and there's a key, and then it just says Samhain on the side there. When I, um, so I, when I did these, I said 55 starts for my birthday of 55. So I started October 1st and I went to November 1st and, um, all of them except one have 55 stitches or more in them. Most of them 55 because I only got to stitch at night and I was so tired when I was doing this all the time that I some of them I fell asleep while I was doing it one of them's really funny I'll show that one to you um so when I really get to stitching on these throughout the year I will show them to you more fully but right now there's not like they don't have a whole lot to show but I do want to show you the fabric I have it on sometimes I want to show you the conversion I made up and um and the pattern of course uh, so number 24 is Haunted House, the Snowflower Diaries from 2013, and it's a uh, 66 by 52. This also was a freebie, um, and uh, this is like, this has to be like my favorite fee freebie, I think. I just find it so adorable. I love the colors. It's beautiful. Um... This one is, did I say 66 by 52? I'm doing a 28 count linen. It's like a, I think it's Weishelt. It's like a green, blue, gray color. And I'm doing two over two. And I got that much done on that one. I really like this one. I, I wanna get this one finished. And then this little guy right here is the start of a pumpkin. And I'm doing it with a variegated, I think it's DMC, a, a, just a DMC variegated floss. Uh, I'm doing the Tiny Modernist um, freebie. This is number 25 and it's uh, from 2022. It's just 39 by 42. And I decided that I'm gonna put it next to the one that I was showing you. Now I'm not sure if I'm going to take out that line of thread and you know put it out. I have plenty of space here and you know put the pumpkin so that it's inside the square. I haven't decided but I know I'm not going to do the moon and stars here. I just just want the cat and the 
this little bit here. So that is 24 and 25. I went on Amazon because I have, so, oh my gosh, I, I even have, if I could show you this haul that I have right here, like I have a couple things from thrift stores, some stuff from Joanne, um, you know, because the Halloween fabric went over half off. And so I bought some fabric. I, you guys, I have so much fabric, but I don't have a lot of Halloween fabric. And I wanna make bags. I really wanna make bags. I just haven't had the time. So I bought the, the Amazon bags. I bought a ton of them for this, these projects. And I don't, if I run out, that's gonna be a problem because I bought like three different bundles of them. Uh, number 26 is Fall is in the Air. This is one of the very few fall ones I, do I have done. And it's uh, it's So Emma from 2022. It's so cute. I love trees. And the fox. Um, I'm doing, it's a 115 by 115. And I'm doing it on a 32 count, two over two. And again, it's just, a natural linen. I'm not sure which it is, but I started the fox. And I think I'm doing all the call for on this. Okay, and then we have number 27, which is Rest in Pieces from Stony Creek. And that is from 2015. It's 150 by 185. I think I got this from Indiana, but I'm not 100% sure. The, um, you know, the parking lot sale. Or I may have ordered it online. I've been ordering, ordering a lot. It's my birthday week, month, year. I've been ordering quite a bit. I have no business. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Honestly, I have a problem. You guys say we need a group of, I don't know what I need. I, I, <laughs> I need to stop and start stitching is what I need. But this year I'm doing it. I always have a lot to show you, but I've never shown you these many projects started. So we'll see how many I actually get done in 2025. I have the whole year to do it, so. Hopefully I'll get a good amount done. Um, rest in pieces, Stony Creek, 150 by 185, 28 count Lugana with chocolate, silk weaver. I'm doing two over two. I could not tell you for the life of me. I tried looking earlier. I don't know what, I, I can't tell if it goes this way or this way. I have a feeling I, I start all over. It, it just depends on the pattern. Sometimes I'll start up in a corner on the left or the right. Sometimes I'll start in the bottom, left, right. Sometimes in the middle. Sometimes in the top middle or the bottom middle. It just depends on the depends on the, the pattern. 28, gathering acorns from cottage garden samplings from 2021. I could not wait to start this and I finally did it. And this one is also just a fall one. I love squirrels. I finally have a squirrel. I coaxed him. I coaxed him over to my house from across the street. He's the only one I see. Um, I've told you before, we we don't have that much in the way of wildlife outside. So um, besides a lot of birds and a lot of bunnies. Um, I think there's a skunk living in my bushes. Other than that, I have not seen, we don't have raccoons. I don't, have never seen possum. Um, we just don't have that kind of stuff. I have somebody's cat that comes around all the time. She, I feed her like almost daily now. Um, we even bought her a little hut. So it has like the heating pad for the cat so that she can get in and stay warm if she needs to, because I don't know if she goes into a house or not. We find her living under our deck a lot of the time. So I'm really concerned. She's nine. We've been here nine. She, well, she's nine or older. And we've been here nine years and she's been coming ever since we've moved in, but this is the first 
year, um, summer, I guess, that she's been here a lot, like almost daily. And now, you know, so I give her like little treats because she's been coming every day. And then of course now I'm feeding her and giving her water because I don't know, maybe something has changed where, you know, everybody she circles around through, maybe somebody moved and new people are shooshing her away and saying, get out of here. So I'm not sure, but she's become my, my outside cat. Um, anyway, squirrels love them, started feeding them. I hide nuts all in the tree in different spots and I watch him go get them. It's so cute. I cannot wait. He let me come out and so he saw me and saw that it's me who's putting the nuts out for him. Uh, I gave him some berries. He really didn't want them. So he just likes the nuts. So yeah, hopefully one day I'll have him come in closer. I know we're not supposed to, but I do it anyway. I can't help myself. I love them. Um, okay, so gathering acorns is 100 by 130. This is from the Time for All Seasons, and so is this one. They're both on the same one. That's what I'm going to show them to you together. This is October 31st. This one is 100 by 130. Um, and I'm doing it on a 40 count linen, picture this plus fog. And I'm doing it one over two. And so here is the squirrel start. And then here is the October 31st start. This is such a beautiful fabric. Um, did I mention it's 40 count? <laughs> I've not done 40 count yet. Yeah, I dig doing one thread. But my eyes, oof. I have to do it really slow, pay close attention, and not a whole lot at one time. And then I think I'll be okay. For me, I don't know why, 36 to 40 is a big jump. Um, what else? Halloween Quaker. A lot of people have done this. I've seen a lot of people do it. I did not ever start it, and I finally said this is, this is going to be one of the ones that I really, really want to start in the 55 starts. Believe it or not, there are a lot more patterns that I have of Halloween that I didn't start. I guess I'm like the queen of Halloween's uh, patterns. I don't know. I I know there's a lot of you who love Halloween. Um, I'm very curious. Like, I don't even know how many patterns I have of Halloween. There's a lot, and I'm I'm kind of picky too. So I I don't know how I have so many. Like, there's I have others. I have a stack of other. There's a whole little pile right here that's a lot of Halloween ones in there. I don't want them. I'm not gonna keep them. I'm gonna do giveaways or sell or um, whatever. I'm not even gonna take a copy and do it. I don't, I just don't want it. It's not my style. Um, but I can't believe how many I have. Like, I'm shock and awe. Uh, but this Halloween Quaker, oh my gosh, I was, I've been so jealous of people getting this one done. I love it. So I finally got the tiniest little start on it. My brain wants to change some of the the black to different colors. Um, I've seen someone do it on a bright a bright background, which was really cool. But man, did I love this! So this is a thirty six count. Um, oh, I'm sorry. This is from Lila Studio. It's from twenty seventeen, and it's two hundred sixty one by one hundred eighty. And so I'm doing a thirty six count fiber uh, on a whim. And it's the Edinburgh Lydon and Heather. And I'm doing one over two. Just the modeling on here. Oh, it's so pretty. If it wasn't so wrinkled, you'd be able to see it better. There you go. It's so, just so pretty. Um, and then here's my start, my itty bitty start. But I really, really love this with one, one thread, like butter. It just goes through. I just, oh my gosh, I love it. 
yeah so I don't know if I'm gonna change any of the colors I've been thinking about it especially like this one up here I kind of want to play around with it I'm not sure when I get to it once I start stitching a bunch and I get to it then I will I'll know um, what I want to do I started down in this corner here so I'll work my way this way so we shall see okay then we have number 30 one is house on a haunted hill from kitten bixby it's 124 by 133 again a 36 count linen it's lunar by be stitch me and i am doing one oops one over two See that all right? I started up here with this cat, and I have to tell you, it was the most fun thing so far that I stitched. Um, I'm also trying it in a Q snap. Uh, look at that little kitty cat. I started with his little tail, and I worked my way down to his bum and over. Oh my god, I had so much fun. At, probably because it's a little finished item too on the pattern where everything else is just like a straight line or a little blob like it's a kitty he's so cute I would like to work on that one so I want to work on all of them who am I kidding uh oh and I have a finish I have a finish you guys so I did a vampire teeth ornament kit it came with red Ada and um, my daughter and I go to the, um, you know, the oddities fest and we go to the paranormal um, con. They call it paranormal con. So um, this is a girl that I've not seen before at either of those. And her uh, business is called hardcoreart.com. So she has a bit of other things besides the cross stitch is not the only thing she does she has like a few kits she puts together and then she has other things as well but um it's hardcore art.com and um it's just the whole kit and i finished this fairly quickly and i put my initials on this one because and the date because this is my actual first finished ornament for my black tree that did not go up this year it'll go up next year and I'm getting close to finishing the back I have to figure out I don't know what the heck I'm doing with that so I'm just I was playing around trying to see how I'm gonna do it but um, and then here's a little bobble this is cute little vampire teeth I almost thought about doing it in uh, glow in the dark I didn't though but that was kind of cute um, so that is a finish. Number 32 is a finish. I think I had two finishes out of 55. Uh, next is Autumn on Marigold Lane from Pineberry Lane from 2011. And it's 112 by 121. I, this is normally not something for me. Um, this is more like for sampler people, but I I don't know it just and I don't know if I want to put the alphabet on it I'm not that's another thing I know I just am not the alphabet just randomly on a it looks good on other people's projects but it doesn't do anything for me um, but I love this that you know it looks like a little cauldron um, with the flowers in it and then there's little kitty cats and some crows or ravens and then these two things here I don't know why they remind me of the TARDIS in a way so and I was all like that reminds me of Doctor Who I don't know why it just does a little bit but it's beautiful so I'm doing that on a 32 count linen 
I have no idea what it is. It's just a darker natural and it's stiff. It is a stiffer one, not as white salt stiff, but close. And I'm doing it two over two. And that's my start. I started with the, what I'm calling the cauldron. Okay. I guess that one's more fall than anything too. So I have three fall starts. Number 34 is, okay, we're calling it spring. X U or X I U Z Z twelve eighty seven. Okay, I bought this. I don't even know where. I mean, I bought it online, but I don't know from where. Could have been Amazon for all I know. Um, it comes like it came from China. It took forever to get here, and it came direct from China. I had no idea. That was like the first kit I ever bought online. All the other stuff I've purchased from a brick and mortar before I did this. So I was like, I have no idea what I'm doing. But um, we're calling it spring. But it is a bunny and a cauldron and spell books and a pumpkin. So for sure it's Halloween. I am, I chose my own fabric instead of what came with the kit because I wanted it lighter. And I do not know, I'm not digging what they did here, so we'll have to see. I'm going to keep going and see how it gets goes along. But um, I chose to do it on a Charles Craft Hardanger White 22 count. Okay. And I'm doing it one over one. No, uh, no two over one. They're mixing... Like, that's black and then, like, a really light tan. And they you do one thread of each. I don't know if you can... I don't know how I feel about that. I've blended threads before for things, but the colors were very close to each other. They weren't so opposite. This is just so speckled. But I'm going to go with it. I'm going to trust it and go with it and see. And then, of course, they came on... The colors come on these cards. Not the biggest fan, but I did buy it, and I would like to. The, the pattern is cute. If it comes out in it, then like what it looks on the picture, I'll be okay with it. We shall see. Okay, then we have number 35, which is an ink circles. It's M28, Spirited Mandala. So I finally started them i just need the last one i have three out of the four uh i thought i ordered the last one but i guess i didn't i thought i ordered it right from ink circles so i'm not sure maybe i did i'll wait a little bit and see if it's coming if not i'll order it you guys have been ordering i have to, like my paypal is just it's like a page long on my bank account <laughs> so I have to like I'm not even paying attention so I have to go back and write down who I got things from a couple of them are from eBay and then see if it even came because I'm like waiting for stuff and I have no idea and then I think I signed up for a couple things uh well the crow's doing a Christmas ornament uh sale and I was like oh my gosh I really want to do that so I look on there, I'm like, I'm gonna sign up for that. And I'm like, wait a minute. So I checked my bank account. I'm like, I, I already signed up for it. I need to slow my roll is what I need to do. But, um, so I have these three and I need uh, this one right here. The green one. So I am doing it a little different. Um, they're 115 by 115, but I, doing them on 18 count black ada and uh, I'm playing around with it at first because I'm not a hundred percent sure which one I'm gonna do I'm 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 I might stick with this one or I might change it I haven't decided yet um, but what I'm doing is 
how whatever color the fabric is is the color thread that I'll use on black Ada. So the other one I'll use some green variegated, I'll have purple variegated, and then the white uh, I haven't decided yet. Maybe I'll do like some grays or something um, or blues, like real pretty light blues. I just got some pretty, like uh, these just came today in the mail. Cloud and blueberry tart. I can like maybe mix those around and make ghosts, the ghost one with that. But uh, I started this one with Night Stalker's Calling, Oopsie Cranberries. I, hopefully I have enough. Hello. There we go. That's Night Stalker's calling. So it was either that or I got my first order of Pirate Robin. Oof. So I might switch to this here one. I haven't decided fully yet. We'll see. But I got my start. And then I'll have them all on, they should all fit on this one here. So um, I was excited to start that because I've been, um, I've been really digging these. I haven't seen anybody finish these yet. Like I haven't seen anybody's finishes of these yet. I know that people have, but I haven't seen them yet. <clears throat> um, number 36 is Number 36 is the favorite. I showed it to you in the last video I did of the first um, 21 projects. And I am not showing it to you right now because I made like a one minute little video earlier to show you it because I just attached it to the stand. It's in my library. It's big. It is very big. So I'm going to be working on it down there. So I just did a little one minute video. So I'll put that at the end of this so you'll see the favorite. Um, but that is from Unconventional Cross Stitch from 2014. It's Omar Ryan. Um, it's 390 by 470 and I'm doing it on a 20 count Zweigart, a gridded. That's the first time I've, this is really my first time doing full, uh, coverage. Um, I have the Dragonfly that I started, oh, was it a year ago or almost a year and a half ago? I don't even know. I have not finished it. Um, I ran into snafus with it and I got mad at it and I just, and then I got busy and then I just keep putting it on the back burner, putting it on the back burner. And I really want to do it. It's beautiful. Um, but it's my first one that I tried and I think I just made a lot of mistakes. Um, so this time I bought one pre-gridded. It's a 20 count. And I'm going to follow along with that and hope I do better. And I'm trying to do diagonal. Uh, we'll see. Because I, I keep, there's two of them that I'm doing. And the one, I started diagonal and then it turned into a square. And I just keep doing that by accident. So we'll see how I do. But I'm, I'm really going to try to do diagonal. Parking or not, not sure yet. Um, but I'm doing two over one on that. So I'll show you that if, at the end of this video, you'll see that one. Um, it is probably my most favorite. That'll be my, what, like Crow calls it legacy or my heirloom. That's what I want to call my legacy stitch is going to be the favorite. And they started theirs too, and they're way ahead of me, but yeah. Crow Stitcher started theirs. Um, next is Ghost Signs, Bent Creek 2012. It's just a little 26 by 36. It was an exclusive summer stitch event from um, Silver Needle. I believe I got this from the parking lot sale at House of Stitches. Um, so I, it's the whole kit. And I have this much done on the little ghost. It's a 32 count linen. 
like a dark tan and I'm doing two over two. And then you get a choice of what uh, the words that you'd want to put. They have boo on here, but they, they have the font back here for smile, boo, yowza, boo, like a B-O-O-W-H, uh, panic, and eek. I probably will just do boo or maybe one of my own little things. I haven't decided. That was 37. 38 is the funny one. And the one that I, the only one I did not get all the stitches in that I needed to because, like I said, I've been doing these at night and I was falling asleep. And I have a big mess. So I actually have seven stitches in here. They just look lovely. Seven little stitches. But then here's the back. I don't even know what that is. There's like this huge knot. I think I don't, they're bunny ears back here. I think I was tying a shoe. Like I was probably dreaming tying my kid's shoe when they were little. I have no idea. It's a mess. I have to take that out. And then um, I think I showed you this. So then when I went to write the card, cause I have it all in this little, I have all 55 starts in this little thing I got from one of my state sales, uh, like a ring little index card holder and I started writing into the woods Mill Hill because that's the pattern it is whoops this here oh, excuse me it'll be my first time with beads and perforated paper um, but I, I started writing the card out and then I wrote hashtag time then I think I was going to try to write the word linen, but I mean, I, I was sleep writing, you guys. I'm not kidding. When I tell you I do these things in my sleep, I'm not kidding. Like, I was sleeping writing this. I was sitting up sleeping. And so enough was enough with that. It's like when I tell you when I do that with my knitting. I make such a mess and then I have to sink it back the next time I stitch. Okay, next, 39 and 40 are Mini Vampire and Mini Bat from Sokol Stitch 2020. They're 43 by 43 and 53 by 44. And I'm doing them on 28 count linen. It's an antique white, two over two. Here is Vampire. Cute. These are going to be ornaments for my tree. And then here is the little koala bat. He's like a bat bear. That's what I call him, a bat bear. He's so cute. And so I started them on this here. So I have uh, I just kind of ran my thread through there, but got him started. And then my little bat bear started. And again, I'm trying my hand at using a Q-snap instead of doing it in hand to see if I can make my stitches any neater. If not, then we're just gonna go right back to doing it in hand. But sometimes my stitches, I feel like they're sloppy. No matter what I'm doing, I feel like they just look sloppy. And I can't figure out why. Okay. Next is another ink circles, the Spotted Owls. It's from 2009 and it's 57 by 57. And I was actually working on this one today, just the tiniest bit. Um, this is what it looks like. So there's like little owls four corners here so cute um, I chose to do mine on a 36 count linen it's kind of a neutral orangey yellow color and I'm doing one thread over how did I manage that one thread over two 
And I'm doing the pattern with DMC and a couple, just a couple colors of um, Gentle Arts. I have Gold Leaf and Tomato. And then, um, and then these here colors, I'll just try to show them all to you. See if I can. So these are the colors I'm using and I'm putting them in a certain order from lightest to darkest, okay? And I'm doing it on a diagonal. And so I started in the bottom left corner. Oh, how's that? Bottom left corner. And then I'm working my way this way. So the first 10 by 10 stitches are here. And then those two 10 by 10, 10 by 10. Then there's three, then there's four, then there'll be five. And not just those strips I'm gonna do diagonally, lightest to darkest, and then darkest to lightest back out. And it'll just be like a stripey diagonal square of color. Hoping that I like that. It's small enough, so if I don't like it, I can always redo it on something else. But it's only, what what I say? 57 by 57, so it's tiny. So I'm making it pretty tiny. <clears throat> I thought that would be fun. Just playing around with things, seeing what I can learn to do. Uh, Halloween Friends. It's uh, 2024, and it's in the Halloween magazine for 2024. And uh, it's from World on a String. That's that there. And I'm doing it on an eight, it's 29 by 24, did I say that? And I'm doing it on 18 count Ada dyed by myself with anchor floss. A bunch of these that came out of the magazine I'm doing with anchor floss because I have a whole, I put it on Instagram. I showed my whole, I made like a pyramid out of all the colors I got when I got them on a really good sale for like, I don't remember, 39 or 49 cents each. Um, and then this is how much I have done, a little pumpkin. That one will be quick. And then 43, 44, 45, and 46 are called Odd Pothecary. That I will show you in the magazine before I show you my work because I did not print. This magazine is, there's like maybe one or two that I probably won't stitch in here. Eventually I plan on stitching Quite a bit of these. Uh, where are you? I probably should have put a, you know, a bookmark. Are you guys thinking about Christmas or are you guys thinking about Thanksgiving? Poor Thanksgiving 68. It gets one, like one day. And it kind of gets lumped in with that Black Friday thing that everybody does. I, that's why I think, like, what? A friend of mine posted it, too, um, on Facebook. She's like, do we really need to have Thanksgiving still? I mean, we're thankful. A lot of us are thankful all the time. We try to have dinner with our families often. We can get most of the ingredients if we wanted to have a traditional Thanksgiving-type dinner any time in the year. Like... Thanksgiving gets so lost. We should just have like Halloween from October 1st until like December 1st. And then Christmas can be until New Year. And my house is probably until February because that's about when I take my tree down. I put my tree up like, I try to get better at it every year, but I, I don't. I try to put my tree up earlier, but I, I end up putting it up like, a week before Christmas and then I don't want to take it down because it's so pretty 
and I love the lights and so it ends up staying there through Jan most of January. I drive my husband crazy. So this one goes on different bottles and I actually have like really cool bottles because of course I own the estate sale company and I get really cool bottles sometimes. So um, I might play around and actually put them on, on bottles. But that's that. I will show you. I lost it. I lost the whole pattern. What did I do with it? There it is. So I started, and this is, um, so there's frog bones, bat wings, new eyes, and spider legs. And they're, this is Noctiflora. And they're 60 by 31. And I'm doing them, I think it's 16 count. It could be 18, but I think it's 16. And I dyed this myself, and it was one that I was like, oh, this just looks muddy. Like, it's a weird muddy color. Orange and pink and muck. But it actually looks really cool with this. And the picture that I showed you in the magazine, it's very similar. They have, like, a, a mucky orange color. So, oh, that's not showing you the... Uh, that's more like what it looks like. So I'm doing all four on this. So there's four starts. And the colors are, I they're all um, anchor. So I kind of went with my own choices. Stayed in the same color family. When it called for purple, I did a purple. But I, I picked my own. And I'm really digging it. And then I have number 47 is Memento, also from the uh, magazine. Let me, it's on page 19. You can see it better in the book because my copy is really tiny. Nope, my copy is the same as in the book. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> let me show you that. So... This here and this here are next. So this is Memento and it is by Stitch Cross Love or Stitch X Love. Memento Mori. And I'm doing it on watermelon. So I decided to do it on a 30... 30 count uh, Weeks Dye Works Watermelon. And then I'm picking a, th a different color. So I have like a, a very dark gray. These are all, again, they're um, anchor colors. So 401 dark gray, black, and then a white. And I can't decide, I'm, and then I'll have like a little bit of a darker green for the rose leaves. Um, and then the rose, roses themselves, I might do those in black. Um, and then the lettering will probably be the same, this dark gray. Uh, so that was fun. And that is 40 by 36. And then the next one is on the same watermelon, uh, Weeks Dye Works watermelon. And that one is, um... The Graveyard, also out of the magazine, it's 59 by 58. And this one is uh, Elfin Forest, and it's this here. And I changed it, of course, to suit myself with this watermelon. So I'm doing like a teal. Can you see the teal color down there? So it's more like a teal color. Uh, and then the rest will probably be the colors that they called for. Like the moon will be a yellow color. The ghosts will be white. And then there's black and the pumpkin will be an orange. But I changed that bottom to teal because I thought that was cool. Okay. 
okay. I'm calling it aquamarine, but it's number 186 in anchor gloss. Um, 49, oh my gosh, this one is so cute. I need to look that one up too, because I didn't print the picture. He is the little mouse on a broom. Um, where are you? Number 60, or page 60. Come on, page 60, here we are. <laughs> I love mice. I changed colors. Oh, it's blurry. How's that, better? Okay, and that one is uh, Little Witch Apprentice from Bad Stitch, and it's 70 by 74, and I'm doing it on it. It's either 16 or 18. Kind of looks like 16. Uh, also dyed by myself. And I'm doing like light green, yellow color, and a light gray color. And then some of the other colors I will do what's called for, but so far I've gotten that much done. And that's just like the wisps, the little clouds from the broom. Um, I'll probably finish this one really soon because I, I just love it. It's so cute. Me and mice, I love them. Rodents of all kinds. Next is Witchy Stitcher. This is from 2020. And so I'm sure it's a COVID thing because it has the little COVID symbol up here, 2020. And then it says, this is Boo Sheet. <laughs> She's funny. So I am doing that on a um, 36 count linen. So I'm doing, but I'm doing it two. Some of it I did one. And then others I did two over two um, so that they, they puff out a little bit. Um, but it's a dark gray mystery piece of linen that I had. So I got that far on that one. And then this here, purple and black showing up on here is for the next one, number 51, which is Ghost Kitty from Haunted Frames. And um, that looks like this. And I just kind of picked my own purples. There's a couple purples and white and black. And again, it's anchor floss that I'm doing these things on. So those two are on this piece here. And then number 52 is very exciting and I think I'm making I think it's beautiful um, where is it I mixed them up where are you come come no no uh oh they were in order sorry oh this is right here dur dur um, this is, I'm doing witch, it's just an oval, it's a, like a witch plaque, and it looks like this, and I'm doing it, it's 70 by 112, and it's in the magical, uh, book and I'm doing it on a 28 count it's a stamp linen I can't remember it's like either like a oatmeal or mocha I'm not sure it's stamped for sure like so it's you know plain on one side and then it's that everybody knows this one I just can't think of what it is um I don't know if that's that country mocha or not I'm not sure um but I decided to go with 
three anchor colors of rose what i'm calling rosy wine and dark forest uh green and all three colors are in here so you can see them i got enough done so that you can see the three colors i went with i think that looks beautiful this color on this fabric is it's very eye-catching i love it so i will do that um 53 is out of the Halloween magazine. And it is called Magic Beans Cafe by Saving Grace's Fine Needle Arts. I really liked the color of this fabric, but I don't have it. Um, and I will probably make mine into an ornament Maybe not, I, I haven't decided, it might go in my kitchen. Um, but I changed the fabric it's on. I I just, it's a 70 by 70 and I'm doing it on a 30 count uh, neutral linen and it's another one of those mystery pieces. And I'm using Anchor for most of the, I'm, use, I'm gonna use Anchor for all of the other colors, but this main color here, they used different colors of DMC, like topaz, light, medium, and dark topaz. Um, I wanted it to be a little more variegated and orangey, so I went with pumpkin pie. And so it'll have like some lighter and darker oranges in it. And, um, I have this here so far. Uh, you can't see. It is variegated already somewhat. A little bit hard to see. But it looks really good. And I'm doing those two over two. Alright. And that is 53. So now the last two are... 54 is Gothic Garden, which, get these out of the way. Gothic Garden. So I know I showed you guys this um, in the video, you know, the video before this one, the first half, um, because I was anxious to show it. But now I have it started. And I have it on a lap stand. It's a lot of grays and black. And 3371. Um, it is 500 by 500. And that is going to be my anniversary stitch. So I'm hoping that... I get it done by our 25th. This was, we just had our 22nd. So I'm giving myself to my 25th to have it done. And I'm doing it on a 20 count Ada uh, Zweigart. And it's white. And I fit it on here. Somehow, I kind of folded it over and got it on here. It's not gridded. I don't. I think I will make a lot more mistakes if I try to grid it. I tried that once and I was off. And then all my grid was, I was like, oh no, I'm not doing that. So I just start stitching and I will, I'm going to try to um, do it diagonally, but I keep turning it into a square. <laughs> I'm working on learning. I'm watching videos, I'm watching everybody's videos um while i'm learning this has to come out because i did that one over one and i didn't like it it was too sparse so i'm gonna do two over one two over one yeah i know it's gonna take a while and it, it just there are you guys i don't there's like okay so you see the black that's in there right but it's so 
mixed in that I don't think that if I did it on a dark fabric and then just did the other it, the other colors, it wouldn't be right. I have to literally do all the colors. And I'm not kidding. I think this calls for like 108 skeins of black. So there are, does it see how many stitches there are in this? I swear it said how many total stitches there were. But, well, it does, right? 250,000 because 500 by 500, that's five times five is 25, four zeros. Is that 250, right? So there's 144,243 black stitches. So I'll probably have to get a cone or two of DMC 310. Lucky, I really like, I like stitching with black. Like, it doesn't bother me to stitch with a lot of black. So, that, oh, I'm stuck. That's my start. I'm going to figure out how to make them diagonal. And then I'll pull that out. And I have lots of room. Lots of, lots of room. I just took this giant piece and I'm, I'm just letting it be this whole project. Whatever's left probably won't be much. Um, then my birthday start, and I think I heard, I just watched Stephanie's video, um, for her floss tube, for Cross Stitch the Globe, and she was talking, she's saying something about, uh, November, like Nora November, is that what she called it? I don't know, is that Nora Corbett? Uh, if it is, then I have a November stitch because I am doing this here, Mill Hill, um, Electra. This one's from 2015. I chose, so this fabric, I don't, stitched, it's, it's on Milk Chocolate from White Chalt. I do not have that, did not look for it, because I had this, and I kind of like this color better. Um, and it's, when I say I'm not digging it at all, it's not because of the color that I chose against the colors that are called for in the pattern, because I am going with those. I, I almost thought of, um, what is that? I have another invoice, you guys. I just got an invoice from PayPal. I pay them, like, right away, too. I, I, I probably just bought something between dinner and doing this. I, one day I might feel a little guilty, but I really don't right now. <laughs> I'm having too much fun. Um, it's my vice, right? It's my vice. Uh, so I was thinking about using variegated floss and changing this here. I might go on and see other people's projects, see if people posted it, see what they did. But I decided, okay, the way that the colors are lined up in here and the way it flows with the dress, it looks really good. So I think I'm just going to leave it the way that it's meant to be stitched. But now that I'm doing it, I think I'm mucking it up. Like, again, as usual, you can see through my stitches, and I'm doing two over two. Uh, what's going on? You can see it? You can see right through those stitches. And then these look wonky to me, like the brown being next to the red and the orangey color and I think I just need to keep going and do more before I start judging it as far as those colors are concerned but um like trust the process I mean she's a very good designer and she knows what the heck she's doing so I should just do it but I can't, I can't get over this and what am I supposed to do it's a 30 count am I supposed to use three strands seriously 
Like, who uses three strands on a 30 count? I don't know anybody who does that. Like, why would I, what am I doing? I have no idea. But it's bugging me. And I'm doing the stitches vertically. Yeah, so that I don't have as much bulk in the back. You know, so I started doing them vertically. I don't know. Trial and error, I guess, but I wanted it to come out really nice. And this, again, is going to be this. So this will be my first or second beading project, because depending on when I get back to the Mill Hill one there. So that was number 55. And that is my birthday start. Um, so that's it. That's all of my 55 starts. I can't believe I did it. So October 1st to November 1st, I started 55 starts, all with 55 stitches each or more. And then one has less, the Mill Hill um, cats, because I fell asleep. I just, I fell asleep stitching. Um, we've gone over an hour, you guys. Do you want me to... I have some haul that I wanted to share. More fabric. I did show you fabric that I bought. I got this from the same person, Mary Carlson, um, that I got uh, the last haul of fabric from. How about if I end this video and then I'll just start recording right into the next video and I'll learn how to link them, I guess, or they'll just be, you know, in my on my YouTube channel so you can find them. But um, I have some floss, some, I have some bags of floss I bought, I have some patterns I bought, I have some fun stuff I bought from Joanne and Michael's. Joanne had, you know, everything on the Halloween stuff was clear, so I'll show you some ideas I have with little baubles and things I bought um, that were 70% off. Um, I got things from a thrift store and a couple patterns. And yeah, I think I will end this video. Don't forget to watch at the end of this video, the one minute little tag I put in for my favorite, um, the favorite. And then um, when you have time, jump into this next one that I'll post after this one and it'll be the haul. And then soon, I promise soon, uh, Jess and I will do a floss tube, a proper floss tube because she's got um, some stuff to show you too. So we will see you soon. Thanks guys, bye. And here's my new stitchy spot for the giant full coverage that I'm working on. I had to bring out the stand out of my um, storage unit. Sorry, I had something in my hand. Um, uh, yeah, that's all the floss for it, and that is going to be my favorite piece I'll ever do in my entire life. I got some done, though. <laughs> this is one of the starts of the 55, so I'll show you this video when I get to that. I'll pop this one in.